um, a speech has been drafted and it's terrible and they say, please, can you just sort this out? I know it's not really your thing, but the thing is the speech is being delivered tomorrow. And we do it and we quite enjoy it and it doesn't go too badly. And then we suddenly find ourselves as speech writers. It's not, it's not at least in this country, it's not really an official profession. And actually a lot of people who write speeches a lot don't even have it in their, in their job titles. It's, you know, it's almost a dirty secret within an organisation. Um, but I think once you you start it, you do have a sense that it's that it's a job really unlike any other. I mean, it, it combines. You know, if, if you have a background in journalism, it's quite quite useful. If you have a background in public speaking, it's useful. But it, it is a distinctive and really quite interesting, beguiling sort of thing to do. Often an organisation will only have one speechwriter, so it can be very, very lonely. Um, sometimes, actually, you come away feeling quite lucky. I mean, in my job, I, I can get away with, with writing um, quite extreme stuff sometimes, you know, and, and really just, just throwing things at the government. Um, in other speech writing jobs, it's it's much more it's much more restrained. It's much more careful. There are far more more processes that, that, that it has to go through. So so, so sometimes you know you, you can actually come away feeling quite 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 relieved. You know you, you get a really good sense of context from meeting other people. I found out about it from um, a friend actually um, who works for the European Commission who, who had found it very useful and described it as a very as a very varied sort of left field event you know I, I thought at first it was going to be uh, more of a sort of training event where you know you would be sort of you know learning tricks of the trade in a very obvious kind of way but actually I mean an, an example this morning of um, of hearing from from Andrew Crofts about about um, about ghostwriting, you know, here's someone who doesn't actually write speeches, but there's so much we can take from someone like Andrew, particularly when it comes to the subject of voice. You know, we, we, we all we all we all worry about trying to get the voice of the person that we're writing for, and it can seem very difficult. But but w w when you're in Andrew's position, where you, you're having to be a 22-year-old Big Brother winner one minute and a 60-year-old Arab Sheikh the next, you realise actually we don't really have a lot to complain about there.